Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now we're going to do a little bit of a different video today. I'm always telling you about the ethics of not eating or harming or using animals, but I never really give you any options on my YouTube channel for what to eat. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting stuff of my food, but I thought we'd do a little bit of a cooking style video today and give you all some ideas for new vegans or older vegans who have been vegan for a while, who are failing to find things to eat. But we're going to head into my friend's kitchen. This isn't my kitchen. I wish it was my kitchen. We're going to head into my friend's kitchen and show you some amazing vegan, cruelty-free meal ideas. Let's hit it. Ah, oh, another thing. This is not a health video. Health has nothing to do with the ethics of veganism. Okay, I don't care what you eat as long as you don't harm anyone in the process. All right, let's go. Okay, so it's breakfast time, and for breakfast, because we're in beautiful England, we're gonna do a full English breakfast, vegan style. Let's hit it. Okay, so we've got some hash browns from Sainsbury's. We've got some of this mozzarella style cheese. We've got some of these cauldron vegan sausages. This is the secret weapon for the scrambled eggs. Tofu, naked tofu. We've got some beans here. Oh, nutritional yeast, another secret weapon. We've got a nice big tomato there. We've got some mushrooms. Bang! Maple flavor bacon rations, cheating from Bee Bites, amazing. Let's get all this stuff on. All right, so we're just gonna chuck some bacon in. Boom. Get that cooking away. Okay, get the sausages and the hash brown in the oven. Boom. All right, in this pan, we're gonna chuck in a little bit of red onion. Boom. Okay, so what I want you to do is just break up this tofu. This is your scrambled eggs. Boom, whack it in. When you're making food, make sure you make it taste good, okay? You need to add flavor to tofu. Tofu by itself is pretty bland. So add onions, add some seasonings. I'll show you what we'll put in this to make it taste good. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. You could just use veggie, vegetable stock, but put vegetable stock on everything, it makes it taste delicious. Boom, a little bit of this. Oh, this is the juice. This is our nutritional yeast. It's got a cheesy flavor, it's got lots of B12 in it. Where do you get your B12 from, bro? Boom, bit of salt, bit of pepper. Stir this around. Yeah. This is the secret weapon here. You add it to your scrambled tofu eggs, and it gives it a little zest. If you're unsure about how something tastes so far, guess what? How about it taste? See if it needs more seasoning, this needs a bit more salt. Boom. All right, whack that in for freshness. Look at that. A little bit of the uh, secret ingredient here, the vegan mozzarella. Yeah. Hit it with that. Okay, so just add your tomato to your pan. A bit of mushrooms in there. Always season your food. Season. Season everything. Make it taste juicy. Okay, secret ingredient for your mushrooms. Garlic granules, come on. Not too many, because you don't want to smell. Just a little sprinkle like that. Boom. All right, let's plate this bad boy up. Oh, look at the bacon. Hash brown, sausages, fried tomatoes. Check out the mushrooms, they turned out really good. Crispy. This here is the star of the dish. Look at that. Boom. Oh my, look at that. I nearly forgot. You can't do a full English breakfast without baked beans. Boom. Check it out. We forgot the national drink of tea. Look at that, with soy milk, no breast milk, Piers Morgan. None you of it was for the you national talk drink about of the tea. Fact. Amazing. In Iraq, we do. We do. We do. We do. Huh, he's not interested. Don't forget the old brown sauce, HP. Can't get more British than that. Bell. Look at that, full English breakfast, vegan style. Maple bacon, sausages, scrambled eggs. Amazing. And you see how easy was that? No animals harmed. Still get a full English breakfast. Amazing, that is a lot of food. Really great that we can get all the same flavors we loved without the animal abuse and cruelty and better for our health. Even though it's not the healthiest option, it's still better than animal foods. Better for the environment, better all round. Try it out. I'm feeling proper British now. Okay, so what we've got here is some Vivera veggie chicken pieces. We're gonna 
cook these up. I'm going to make a little sandwich. Boom. Get this in the pan. Boom. All right, so just put a tiny bit of this stuff in. I don't, I don't really do the garlic that much. It's not, oh, whoa, that might have been a little bit much. But yeah, just a little tiny bit. A bit of this, rosemary, just a touch, just a little bit. Boom. So what Laura's got here is some mashed up tofu and she's mixed it with some mayonnaise, some of this vegan mayonnaise and some salt and pepper in there. And it sort of mimics an egg salad. Okay, obviously getting the plant-based chicken is more ethical, better for the environment, better for your health. But you don't need to eat the plant-based uh, meats to be vegan. You can just do the, you know, whole grains, nuts, seeds, all the healthy stuff. But it's good to know you can get the same tastes and textures you used to love in a sandwich. Let's do it. Okay, we just got some of this dairy-free Vitalite to butter replacement to put it here. Sliced up two bits of bread here. Okay, now we've got this beautiful, delicious, free-from, dairy-free cheddar slices. We're gonna chuck some of that on. Bam. Bam. Some tomato slices. Salt. Pepper. A little bit of this. I've got it all nice and crispy. Let's just do the taste test. Oh my God. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Make sure you season your food. Make it taste nice. And this stuff is amazing. Let's put it on the bread. Oh my. Oh my. Have mercy. Have mercy. We'll get some of this on there, mayonnaise. No eggs, no dairy, no cruelty. Boom. Oh, look at that. Bam. Laura's got her tofu egg salad with a mayonnaise with some cress, tomato, and she's gonna wrap it up in these wholemeal wraps. Beautiful. Boom. So there you go, there's a chicken sandwich, there's cheese in there, mayonnaise, no cruelty, no cholesterol, no slaughterhouses, no animals had to be abused and killed for this. Still tastes amazing. Why aren't you vegan yet? Mm. Oh my. Have mercy. Look at that. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna cook up some of these veggie steaks from Bavera. They're, they're selling really well at the moment. Let's go chuck them some in the pan. Boom, serve it with some steamed potatoes and some steamed veggies. Here we are, two steaks there. Let's uh, hit it with some vegan gravy too. Shit, oh my lord. Oh my. How does that look appetizing? Murder free food. All right, here we go. Let's do the taste test. Wow. Really good. Really good. No cholesterol. Absolutely no cruelty in here. Wasn't torn off the body of someone who didn't want to die and you can still get that kind of steaky texture. As a vegan, how amazing is that? So if you see these, get them. All right, so this is just some dairy-free ice cream for dessert. See, vegan, no cruelty, dairy-free. Look how creamy. I'll just put a little bit of this on top, just a bit of date syrup, just to add a little bit of zhuzh. Oh, look at that. No cows had to be harmed for the making of this. Amazing, all vegan, delicious. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that What I Eat In A Day video. If you did like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to cook for the next episode. If you want me to go somewhere, eat something, try something, do a taste test. Let me know what you love to eat. Maybe I'll cook it up on the show. If you want me to continue doing this, leave a like. Let your friends know, share it with your mates who are looking for something to eat vegan. You know, we don't just eat grass and sticks and twigs, although twigs are delicious with the right amount of sauce on there. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.